Joining me now is a man who's emblematic of the current split in the Republican Party. He's Republican Senator Jeff Flake of Arizona, who right now says he's not ready to support Donald Trump, but he also hasn't ruled it out either. Senator Flake, welcome back to the show, sir. Hey, thanks for having me on. So you have said uh, he's got to earn your support. You're looking for him to change his tone, change some of his, particularly the, the, the issue on, on uh, the ban, temporary ban on Muslims seems to be among the things that you find most difficult to support because it doesn't pass constitutional muster. If he doesn't retract that, can you ever support him? You know, I, I, I can't see that. He's got to soften his position there. I mean, I, a total and complete ban on Muslims, that is a religious test. That is certainly uh, against the Constitution, and it is the last thing we should do if we want to win a war on terrorism. So it's uh, constitutionally wrong, and also strategically, it's, it's just uh, not a smart thing to do. So what should the party do, though? What do you want? Do you want to see Mitt Romney run? Uh, if, if Trump's not going to back away from these things and you can't support him, right. what do you do? How do you help your friend John McCain win his re-election in Arizona? You know, um, obviously Donald Trump was not my first choice or my 17th choice, to put it mildly. However, he is the nominee, the presumptive nominee. I don't see a third party challenger come along. I would rather, as, as Paul Ryan has said, rather Mr. Trump simply change some of his positions and modify uh, what he has said. Now, I, I think he's going to need to. We are well behind in the polls right now, and in order to win this election, if Republicans want to win, and we do, uh, then we've got to change the approach, because uh, we're not going to win taking these positions. You know, some Trump supporters would say modifying has been the problem with Republican nominees in the past. Modifying, not saying what you believe, not speaking truth to power, or however you want to characterize what Trump is doing, and they say, hey, the voters have spoken, Senator. You need to get on board with him. Why should he be obligated to get on board with where the Republican Party is? Republican vo voters have spoken in a primary. We've found in the past that that's a big difference uh, from voters speaking in a general election. We're now moving to a general election, and it's a different ballgame completely. Uh, we found in the past, and we've done an autopsy every time we come out of one of these elections, that we, for example, need a better position on immigration. Uh, simply saying we're going to deport 11 million people, uh, that's not a position you can take in a general election. It's not a rational approach. Uh, so a general election is far different from a primary election. Do you accept the fa idea, though, that if, if a significant chunk of party leadership like yourself, Speaker Ryan, doesn't end up rallying around Trump, it probably is the death warrant for his candidacy in the fall. Are you comfortable think, with that? I don't think that that's the death warrant for his candidacy. I think uh, supporting a religious test for people to come here, saying you're going to change libel laws to make it easier to sue those who you don't agree with, uh, saying that we're going to default on the debt, uh, taking positions like that uh, are what is going to impede your campaign, not the fact that some Republican leaders disagree with you. Is there anything from Trump's success that uh, in these primaries that made you think, you know what, maybe I ought to rethink my position on X? You know, like I said, it's one thing to win a primary. We all know that it's easier to win a primary taking certain positions, sometimes hardcore positions. Uh, but we all always know that those positions may not work in a general either. So it's one thing to win a primary. It's a complete uh, other ballgame to win a general election. We're out to win a general election as Republicans, 